Hey guys, Poi here. Welcome back to the channel. So previously, I installed the rear climate control display and also this rear entertainment display unit. So today, I will compare um, the two displays, um, both the functionalities and the look in your car. Um, let's see if I can plug this in and that bigger display in together so we can see and compare side by side. Let's go. Okay, before we compare the display, these two displays, um, let's talk about the installation first. So this um, climate control display, you only have to connect to this. So this will connect to the main computer unit anyway. So you just connect to the rear and also connect to the front passenger seat control on the side and then we'll merge together but this rear entertainment display with climate control you have to connect directly to the MCU unit in the front underneath the glove box let me show you where it is and um, I will also show you uh, where to connect the front passenger seat control for the smaller display. So um, to me, I think the smaller display unit is easier to install than um, this one. So anything that you don't have to connect to that main um, MCU unit in the front because it's so small space, it's just a little bit um, tricky to plug and unplug on that MCU unit. But if you can get information from here, it will be so much easier, like this one does. All right, now let's compare side by side the functionality of these two units. Let me plug this one into and see how they look next to each other. Here you go, I was able to connect both unit at the same time. So both has the um, functionality to control the climate control in the back here. You can see here. And also um, control the main audio control. Let me try this one. You can hear. Then let me try this one. Same. See. You can skip. You can skip. Same here. You can adjust the volume. And you can adjust the volume here too. Lower. There. The this basic um, audio adjustment and and the climate control go back to climate control this can do um, pretty much the same thing the temperature on both sides and then um, the fan speed here here the same um, let's go to the the rear seat function again they both have the same um, functionality here. You can turn on the heated seat here and turn it off and also turn on the heated seat here. And then turn it off. And this one same, you can turn on all the way. Okay, so I think I see the difference now. So the rear heated seat for this one, you can turn on and off without having to turn on the climate in the front. But this one, you cannot control um, turn on and off heated seat until... Let me see, I have to turn on the climate in the front first. So now the climate control is on in the front. Now it will let me, see that, turn on the heated seat before it didn't let me. let me turn all of them off there so 
this one don't need to turn on the, turn on the main climate this one you have to turn on the main climate to be able to control the heated seat okay so another um, rear seat functionality does this one has benefit over the big screen is that this one you are able to control the front passenger seat you can see here but this big um, entertainment display screen do not have that function at all um, you cannot control uh, the front passenger seat at all because there's no um, connection to the front passenger seat control hooked into this unit but this one does have so the functionality um, for the rear passenger to control um, certain things I think this small display does better than a big one as I mentioned before I can control the heated rear seat without having to turn on the um, the climate control in the front but this one doesn't so I have to turn on the climate control in the front in order to turn on and off the rear heated seat and this one can also adjust the front passenger um, up and down for this passenger here or your kid sitting here to have a more leg room if that person wants to but but this one do not offer that functionality at all otherwise the rear climate and the front um, audio simple audio functions are basically the same but now what bigger screen has and that small screen um, doesn't have is that all the entertainment that this one does so it you know it has all the app it has built-in um, Android system which you can um, download more apps to it or you can have a browser to browse you can see a browser Netflix and then you can download more apps into your unit as well so you can play games so any game with touchscreen or even games with um, controller you can control um, you can connect your um, game controller via Bluetooth and then play in the back here but this one does not offer any of that uh, with the smaller screen so if you want something to entertain um, your rear passengers or your kids in the back I would definitely go with this one but if all you need is to control to um, have your passenger your, your rear passenger be able to um, have freedom to control their heated seats and move uh, the front passenger seat and also control some of fan speed and the temperature back here with some simple um, audio control then definitely go with this one also if you're not comfortable um, installing this stuff I would go with this one um, because it's so much easier to install um, this one is trickier um, harder to reach over there so installation wise this one but functionality with the entertainment this one all right here we go overall look of these two screens comparison um, side by side let me know what you think um, which one would you choose in the comment down below all right now I'm just gonna show you um, how it looks in your car um, compare this one to this one to compare between this small um, display 
and then the bigger display with the entertainment system is that the price let's start comparing the price with this small display climate control unit first so i got this small display from handshow or edge other part Dot com. So the price without discount is $289. But right now, Henshaw is having Christmas sales. So the discount would be 25%. So you can use my DAD DAD discount code for 25% off and will come down to $216. Now let's see the price of the bigger entertainment display unit. I got this 8 inch rear entertainment display unit from EV base or evbasis.com. Um, so the price before discount is $499. With the discount code that TC, you will get 15% off, and the price after discount is $424. So that's about $200 different between these two displays. But if you need that extra functionality on the bigger display i think it's worth it with your kids in the back seat so this can help entertain your kids back there but if you don't need all that entertainment functions and just basic function plus you can control the front passenger seat and save 200 dollars then i would go for the smaller unit from handshow so that's it guys um the comparison between those um, two display I think they both have its own benefits. It just depends, you know, how your lifestyle is. Do you have family, you have kids, probably go with this bigger ones. And if you have bigger kids that don't need this display anymore, or just the rear passenger, then would go with the small one. If you're not comfortable installing any of this, I would try to um, install the small one right here is so much easier to install and i i think it's cleaner um, look also for the the rear center console back here and also i forgot to mention this one doesn't block the ac at all this one block a little bit of the ac you see the vent here so if you try to get the ac up this will block that part a little tiny bit but otherwise um, the ac vent still works fine you still can manually adjust it right here all right let me know um, what you think in the comment down below which one is your favorite and thank you so much for watching today's video guys please click like if you like the video and also um, subscribe to the channel for future contents we'll see you on the next video